And the countdown is on as businesses prepare for that second wave of restrictions, which does include indoor entertainment and indoor dining at bars and restaurants. Today, the Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association says it is suing the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services over these new restrictions. We do have team coverage. Brian Abel is standing by with the plea from the governors. But we begin with 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig with the last ditch effort by restaurants. Kim. Yes, Glenda, some restaurants have gotten creative with the use of plastic igloos, but the head of the Restaurant Association calls the ban on indoor dining indiscriminate and not even rationally related to stopping the spread of COVID-19. With this order, you can get a tattoo, but you can't get a taco. There's just an, an unequal approach to how this uh, order is uh, being implemented, and we don't believe it to be fair. And so the Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association has filed a lawsuit against Robert Gordon, the director of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Michigan restaurants seeking an injunction to the state's order that they close to indoor dining, hoping a judge agrees with them and allows them to continue to welcome guests to come in and have a seat. This industry, you know, it's, it's frustrated that it continues to be uh, believed to be right the the sacrificial lamb so to speak when we have to demonstrate that we're operating safely that we have to take actions to be to be safe as citizens they are willing to do their part and then some uh, but they can't be shut down not now not again only four percent of the entire outbreak investigations the state have are tied back to restaurants right there are a lot of industries out there that have a worse experience rating that are still operating right now Justin Winslow, president and CEO of the Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association, says if members have to close to indoor dining, many of their restaurants will not survive. For anyone who's in the full service side of this industry, which means dining room is a, a part of your business model, that's it. That is the main thrust of where you're going to get uh, your business. People come out for the experience in addition to the food, the atmosphere in addition to the food. Some have done well and, and, and been able to get by, not, not, you know, not thrive, but get by with carry out and some delivery. But for a lot of others, they won't. And we know that 40% of our members will just close uh, if this order takes effect. And unless an injunction is granted, the ban on indoor dining will go into effect tomorrow. Reporting live in Berkeley, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Tough times. Kim, thank you. We're doing the best we can.